Okay, so fourth degree polynomial, I am expecting to get four roots to this problem here. And, you know, if, it, if it's simple, they're going to be rational roots. Now, I'd hate to go to the rational root theorem, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to look at the problem and, you know, wishful or not, I'm looking for something that maybe it's helpful. So I'm going to look at this, and I'm going to look at this over here. And I'm going to try to factor them separately. This is my groupings, by the way. Now, I'm not saying it's going to work, but there's little expense to this. I mean, it's little expense. It's easy to do, and it doesn't cost much to do it. So you get x cubed. This will be x plus 2. Then I'd say minus, let's see, 13x squared plus 14x minus 24 equals 0. Now, in my, you know, in my mind, my wishful mind, if this is going to work out, this 13x squared plus 14x minus 24 must have a factor of x plus 2. Now, by the way, I'm not saying it's going to work. I'm just saying if this is going to work, it's got to have a factor of x plus 2. But I can't say it has that until I try something. So I'm going to say 13x because x times 13x, 13x squared. And then I would need what? I would need minus 12, right? Does that work? I don't know. So you get 13x squared minus 12x plus 26, well, that's 14x, and you do get minus 24. So this worked out beautifully. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to factor out the x plus 2. And then what do you, we're left off with? x cubed, right? And now i, I got to be careful here because it's minus the, the, the uh, quantity 13x minus 12. So it's going to be minus 13x plus 12 equals zero. All right, so my, my claim over here after doing that, I, I took a fourth degree polynomial, and now at least I have it as a linear factor x plus two, which I clearly know the root of it, and then this cubic, which I know has, you know, three roots to it. Now, the roots may be tough to come up with, but I'm assuming they're going to be easy. So I'm going to use a rational root theorem. And I'm kind of looking at it, and I'm thinking, you know, what, what would work in the rational roots? Real, basically, the factors of 12 like 1, 2, 3, and like if you try, you know, I'll, I'll, I'll put the 1 down, you know, plus or minus 1, and, you know, if you did the 1, what would you get? 1 minus 13. See, 1 works. Let's write that down. So 1 works, so it's x minus 1 is a factor. Now, what I would do is I would divide x minus 1 into x cubed minus 13x plus 12. Again, it's a more difficult factoring problem. But again, I'm not saying it's difficult for everyone. Like some of you say, I wouldn't divide there. I would just try another rational root. Well, I'm going to try this. What do you get over here? x squared. That gives you x cubed minus x squared. Subtract. Do it again. Uh, let's see, minus x, and that would give you minus 12x plus 12, and that would be minus 12 now. Gee, that was easy. Minus 12x, yeah, remainder 0. So I'll write that down now. What do you get over here? x squared plus x minus 12 equals 0. And again, your tech may be different. Your technique may be different, but the outcomes are not going to be any different at all. And this last guy, the quadratics, generally speaking, are easy to do if your finger numbers work. I'm going to say plus 4, minus 3. All right? So I'm going to say I can list my roots now, and let's, let's put them down. x equals minus 2, x equals 1, x equals 3, x equals minus 4. By the way, these are all in that list of potential rational roots in the problem. And let's go to town. Let's see if we got it right. And again, mistakes happen. x equals minus 2. x equals 1. x equals 3. x equals minus 4. Everybody's there. All right? So again, you decide how you want to factor. You may have seen something different. You might have seen something quicker, better, whatever. It still factors to what we say it factors to, which is this thing over here. It still factors to that. All right? And that's our goal, by the way, is to get them factored. Thank you.